frontal fibrosing alopecia. Frontal fibrosing alopecia is a disease that we see more and more over the past 30 years in our daily hair clinic. Frontal fibrosing alopecia is a scarring alopecia and that means that the hair follicle loses the ability to regenerate. It is characterized by a band-like hair loss of the frontal hairline and sometimes also of the occipital hairline. Typically, women after menopause are affected by this disease, but we see more and more men and younger women showing up with frontal fibrosing alopecia. Symptoms of the disease can be none, or the patients sometimes complain about itching, pain, or burning sensations on the scalp. Usually, the first sign of this disease is the loss of eyebrows before patients even notice the recession of their hairline. Other signs can be a band-like lighter skin on the frontal forehead and also an indentation of the frontal veins on the forehead. When the disease is active, usually patients complain about a sand-like appearance. This is called follicular hyperkeratosis. Little dandruff is piled up around the hair follicle and feels like sandpaper. So what can cause this mysterious disease? The answer is we don't really know. Since this disease is increasing, uh, the suspicion is that something comes from the outside. So this could be something that we have in our daily cosmetic products. Oxybenzones, for example, have been identified as a possible trigger, but it's not really clear what's causing this disease. How can frontal fibrosing alopecia be treated? We developed a step-by-step -step plan, which involves three steps of treatment. If the patient shows signs of inflammation, like sandpamper-like appearance and redness, or has symptoms like itching or pain, then we usually treat with intralesional injections. These injections are very superficial, but um, reach the inflammatory cells that are located approximately two millimeters underneath the skin. We usually treat with um, intralesional cortisone mixed with platelet-rich plasma. If that is not enough and the disease is still active, we have to treat with oral treatment. Systemic treatment can involve hydroxychloroquine or other anti-inflammatory oral treatments. These medications are usually well tolerated, but in general have a higher risk of systemic side effects. Is hair restoration surgery possible in patients with frontal fibrosing alopecia? The answer is yes and no. If the disease is active, frontal fibrosing alopecia is a contraindication for hair restoration surgery. If the disease is burned out and there are no signs of inflammation, hair restoration surgery may be possible. Usually a little test area should be performed to see if the hair stays, if the hair is growing and the disease is not reactivated. After surgery, the patient has to be watched closely for disease activity. If you're interested in hair restoration surgery and frontal fibrosing alopecia, please check out our video where we perform a test area on a patient with frontal fibrosing alopecia.